What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology zone this is tutorial 102 and today's topic will be how to build multi LLM quiz game using Langchain okay so I believe you guys are excited after 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 watching the title slide right I'm also excited actually um, I was thinking what could be done for the next video and actually uh, this um, use case came across i actually found this uh, tutorial from one of the freelancing website and someone posted uh, a request that um, is there any possibility to use uh, llm um, uh, i mean uh, open ai large language model and langchain to create some games for uh, school students or maybe uh, just to actually showcase some different capabilities right so that is what i'll be going to do so what I'll do here, a quiz game using Langchain. So I'll be going to generate all the questions for the quiz using Langchain. That uh, question will be answered by another uh, uh, like LLM. Okay, uh, sorry. Uh, first, I'll be going to use one LLM to generate the question and then I'll be going to use another LLM to answer that question and I'll be have another LLM to evaluate the question, right? So either you can use the same LLM or a different LLM, okay? So it doesn't matter, okay? So first of all, I'll be just going to show you uh, the structure of the code and later on you guys can actually extend the code okay and this is the source code link you can get it so uh, without wasting much time let's start actually writing the code but before i write the code uh, i would like to request a couple of things so guys if you are uh, watching my channel for the first time so you already understood that uh, this is the video number 102 and before that i already posted more than 100 videos actually 101 videos so if your objective is actually to do something in the space of artificial intelligence, large language model, or if you want to become an LLM developer in the future, or maybe you want to learn Langchain, and maybe you are doing some project or whatever, like if you want to excel and expertise, build your expertise in this area, then please go ahead and uh, find my uh, playlist from the YouTube channel and try to watch it from the beginning. And also on a humble request, um, please try to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, share my videos with a family and friend, and try to hit the bell notification icon so that you should not miss any notification from our future updates and why i'm actually uh, putting a lot of effort to encourage all of you to subscribe because it's for my personal growth because if you guys are not subscribing to my channel my audience base will not increase and if i'm not getting uh, the right audience base then probably youtube algorithms are not going to push my videos and my ultimate objective is actually to get some push from youtube algorithm so that i will reach to the large number of audience right so it's an humble request guys please help me support me without your support i won't grow so your one subscription is actually going to be a uh, going to do a lot of things for me right so please subscribe to my channel if you're watching my videos and if you find something beneficial okay so enough of talking let's start working on the code so here um, the code is very simple first of all i have to just write from langchain and dot prompts it will be import uh, prompt template right next thing i'll be just going to import uh, langchain open ai right langchain open ai import it is going to be chad open ai right that's it now basically what will happen i'll be going to create uh, three LLMs. First LLM is actually for question. First, second LLM is actually for answer, and third LLM is actually for evaluation. Right. So it is going to be uh, LLM underscore question. Right. So it is going to be chat open AI. Okay. And then model equals to GPT hyphen four. Right. And what I'll do? I'll be just going to copy. No, no need to copy right now. And then what will happen? We'll be going to create a template for my question. So template, template question, right? And here I have already created the prompt. So this is the first prompt for template question, right? You are an experienced uh, department, experienced teacher, and department is actually a variable with a twenty years of experience uh, in in creating question for students your task is to create one question for students your response should be only question nothing else right so i'm i'm, in, I'm actually creating an instruction for my prompt right so next thing will be going to create a prompt so prompt uh, underscore question right so basically template question dot sorry so it should be prompt template dot from template and inside that i'll be just going to write template question done right now what will happen 
we will be going to create a chain for uh, we will be going to create LCL language to uh, generate my chain so this is going to be a chain question right chain so something like this chain question so chain question is actually going to be what chain question will be actually prompt question and after that I have to actually pass the LLM LLM question so my chain is ready now now we're going to create a variable response underscore response underscore question right it is going to be very easy so chain question okay chain question dot invoke right and there I'll be just going to create uh, this variable sorry this variable department okay so I think okay so it will be it will be department and in the department I can write anything right so I can write let's say my department is actually computer science okay okay computer science so it is done so my first thing is actually the question generation is done right then what will happen I'll be going to generate the answer right same thing copy and paste and here I'll be just going to change the value to answer a n s and for the sake of like understanding I'm not going to change this thing I'll be going to use the same model but if you want you guys can change this model maybe uh, it is gpt4 it is gpt4 uh, omni or something like that okay so it doesn't matter okay so yeah it doesn't matter okay you can use the same model or uh, multi-model okay it doesn't matter okay so now here actually uh, it is going to be template answer okay template answer and what is my template so see you are an intelligent assistant who can answer any question correctly your task is to answer the question asked by the user your response should be only answer given to the question nothing else so let's copy okay and let's let's paste it over here okay so it is pasted now prompt answer so prompt answer so prompt template prompt template and there i'll be just going to write a n s done right now i'll be chain answer right it is very simple right chain answer so it will be prompt answer i'm just changing the variable nothing else i'm doing nothing nothing fancy i'm doing it here right llm answer and here again i'll be just going to change the variable name answer right now uh, my variable is actually question so i'll be just going to write question right and what we'll do i'll be just going to change it to this variable response question okay just copy this thing and paste it here okay okay but for sake of understanding i'll be just going to print the response question okay response question is printed here and here i'll be just going to print the response answer means the question and answer is actually generated right now the last thing is actually evaluation so evaluation i'll be just going to do the same thing so what i'll do i'll just going to copy the entire thing from here okay and i'll be just going to paste it again here so uh, here actually it is done response and here i'll be just going to okay so evaluation i don't want to actually give anything here so just template like this this is just for evaluation so remove everything so this is just for evaluation i don't want to put anything right okay so here the question is actually this and okay before that uh, i need to change this thing and for evaluation i have written this thing see you are an experienced teacher with 20 year experience of assessing students exam paper and evaluated their answer your task is to check the answer given by the student for a specific question so question and answer is actually variable and assign marks to each answer the marking criteria are as follows minimum zero which means incorrect maximum is five full mark is which means answer is uh, completely correct assign marks accordingly based on the accuracy and completeness of the answer please evaluate the answer and assign marks between zero to five means marks could be zero or one or two or three or four or five your response should be only marks nothing else right all are fine now let's copy this thing and let's paste it here right okay so let's paste it here it is done now what will happen uh, template answer i will be just going to remove this thing because uh, template so llm is there template is there prompt is there so i need to remove this chain to uh, normal prompt and it will be normal llm and question is this and one more thing is answer right 
A and S W E R. And answer is actually going to be response answer from this variable, right? Response answer. Okay. Everything is actually sequential. You can easily do it using a, a lang graph, right? But lang graph I haven't started. So that is I'm uh, at the beginning I'm doing this thing, and after that I'll start. Uh, I'll start lang graph. So you guys already understood that why I'm actually doing this tutorial. I have an objective because of that I'm doing. And actually end of the coding I'm telling you I'm very soon going to start lang graph. Okay. So everything is done, right? So last thing at the end. So print response dot content, right? Everything is done. Uh, I think, uh, I think uh, uh, there is something uh, I miss. So uh, everything should be with the content, okay? Uh, dot content okay right um, yes so i think uh, it is fine then dot content if you don't use content then also fine i believe it will work okay but i what i'll do i'm here also response.content but i'll just make sure to use the content actually so that it's only uses the correct value content here and here i'll be just going to uh, response question dot content right I believe um, that's it. This is going to generate the question and after that answer is going to be generated here, right? So question is generated, answer is generated, everything is generated. So question is this, then question answer is this. So let's working on this thing. So first thing first, uh, if you check here, uh, let's see uh, here, I said computer science department, right, in the first question LLM. So it is actually going to ask the question relevant to computer science. Then it, will be, it is going to print here. And after that, this print is actually going to print the answer. And at the end, this print is actually going to give me the score between 0 to 5. So let's execute. Okay, let's execute. So it started actually, if you see. So first it is going to generate a question. Okay, so let's see. Okay, so it is asking this question. Okay, so prompt template missing is department filling department variable. So I think there is something is wrong. Okay, so question is generated, and after that, what is happening here? Okay, let me check in department. So maybe it is actually expected department receive question. Okay, so let me check what is the problem you are in as you can answer any question correctly your task is to answer the question so question question so okay okay so let me check so one by one i'll be going to check okay so what i'll check so this is first thing so let me let me actually uh, comment out everything okay department is computer science let's ask the question and let's see whether i am getting any error or not okay so let's see okay question is generated now what will be going to do i'll be going to generate an answer so what i will do i'll be just going to close this thing and i'll be just going to uncomment this part from here to here right like this okay so now it will be chain answers you understand what is the problem right and now in the response content it will be uh, i'll be going to manually ask some question right and let's see whether i'm able to do it or not okay so uh, what is what is usd okay and let's see Yeah, it's fine. Everything is working fine. So what I'll do, I'll just uncomment this thing. Yeah, respond question dot content is fine. Now what I'll do, I'll be just going to uncomment these two lines. Okay. Now what I'll do, I'll be going to generate these things so that what will happen, I'll be just going to generate the question and answer. Okay. Okay. So let's see. 
so let me clear clear out this thing hopefully this is going to give me the question and answer i'm not doing any evolution here so let's wait for some time let's say for two minute not two minute 20 second maybe okay so it is asking design an algorithm that takes a list of your please provide the question uh through the question you you need to answer okay so i don't know uh, what happened here uh, okay uh, okay question equals to respond question dot content okay mm. see so please provide the question you need to answer you need to answer okay so that is something strange okay uh, actually i made this as string actually so again it's a mistake from my side okay don't worry it will happen now okay so let's see okay okay so let's see first it will give you the question then it will be going to answer okay so it is asking to do something and it is generate the answer okay so let's see what question it is asked so it is saying design and implement the python class name bank account that includes the following attribute and methods okay okay so it is now writing the code see it's done actually oh my god it's doing now what it'll do now i'll be just going to uh, include the evaluation part as well okay so let's start i'm super excited right okay so let's do okay so let's execute so first it will generate the question then answer then the marks okay so let's wait okay so question generated now let's see it is again asking to generate a banking system or programming okay okay so program is the input prompt to various departments so basically again the same problem is here in the chain yes it should be chain guys here see when you are doing multiple copy paste so it is the normal thing right response case content question content response okay fine so yeah it's fine if you if you don't get error you will not uh, you will not learn anything so that is how okay okay so let's see yeah so that is why i hate to do copy paste right if you do copy paste yeah it is actually going to take a lot of uh, time to fix the error yeah so question is ready answer is ready right and score is five so it is getting full marks now as i said you can actually use multi model so maybe you can use gpt4 to generate the question and you can use gpt402 uh, uh, like create the answer right and you can actually use uh, like default gpt3.5 to uh, evaluate let's see how it is actually going to work now okay okay I'm using GPT-4 to generate the question, GPT-4 or to answer the question, right? So GPT-4 is uh, created the question. Now GPT-4 only model is going to do something, right? So that is one multi multi model. Okay, so it's done. Now let's see what GPT-3.5 is actually giving. So that's it, guys. So you can imagine you can do anything. Like if you want to place this thing in a for loop, these three LLMs will play with each other, right? So easily you can actually double off any game. You can create a lottery game. You can uh, create a number guessing game. Anything you want, you can do it, right? Okay, so with that context, I'll be just going to conclude the video here. But my objective of creating multiple LLM is actually you can think about this thing as a multiple agent and we are we are trying to build an workflow i haven't done this thing but it's simply like workflow right now the code is actually going uh, top to bottom approach that, that is why my code is actually getting executed line by line if you can think about this as a workflow like first question then generate answer then generate the uh, evaluation so basically you need to have a workflow right so with the help of lang graph you can do all those multi-agent workflow very seamlessly right so my uh, next objective is actually creating some tutorials on langra but that will come within next couple of weeks but before that i would like to actually uh, establish a very strong foundation and base uh, with this multi-agent so probably a couple of more tutorials will be on multi-agent things and maybe some use cases and fun tutorial and after that i will start okay so with that note i'll be just going to conclude the video here but if you guys want to do something more with this you can try and extend this tutorial but if you have some other use cases which you want me to cover, please let me know via uh, comment box or your telegram channel. You have your, you have my email ID as well, right? You can send me an email, right? Okay. So with that note, I'll be just going to conclude the video over here. We'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye. Have a nice day. Happy learning and have a good day.